Hello and welcome to another ARK Survival Evolved Taming video. I am Winslow and today I'll show you the best way to stay safe while taming the manta ray. The mantis can be found all over the oceans and are small enough to be in the shallow reefs and sometimes mouths of rivers, but won't be in as far as swamps. The manta is an aggressive and territorial fish, though when a school of them are following a Bacillosaurus, they are relatively docile. You can utilize both bug repellent and cactus broth to approach them safely. They will only attack you if you touch them from the front, otherwise they can literally be jumped on from above. The manta will eat angler gel to tame. This is a passive tame, so approach them cautiously. You can either find or lure them into shallow water, and then tame them without interference from most other predators. Or if you use a bacillosaurus to approach them, they will remain mostly docile. They won't feel compelled to attack even a tamed bassie in most cases, but they will defend themselves. The tame progress is slow. A 150 manta on official settings will take 40 gel to fully tame. And because of the feeding efficiency loss, the highest level you will obtain is 207. With their tendency to wander and attack other ocean creatures, I recommend either building a water tame trap with one of the floating ocean platforms or luring them into shallow water. Once they are tamed though, they are excellent for scouting out the open seas. Despite the dossier saying they don't require a saddle, they do have one available. If you are going to engage in any combat, it is important to have a high armor saddle. Their health stat is pitiful and you will never see strong gains from leveling. It is best to only level melee damage, movement speed, and weight. Properly leveled and trained with imprinting, a manta can outpace any ocean creature. You can use them for speed runs in and out of the two large ocean caves on the island, though be cautious because if you get trapped or stuck, they will not survive very long. Sadly, they don't get a pack bonus, even though they are often found in schools. Wild mantas can be quite troublesome, but tamed, their damage seems to be a bit lackluster. If you want to use them for ocean combat though, it is recommended that you do not attack anything head on. They are agile enough to be able to escape any of the large predators. You can kill plesiosaurs and moses with hit and run tactics. They are very fast and have a low profile. You can use them for some sneaky scouting in PvP. They have the ability to briefly jump out of the water, allowing you to leap over obstacles if they get stuck. Be cautious though, because if they end up on land, it is almost always certain death. What do you think of the manta? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this ARK Survival Evolved Taming video. I am Winslow, and if you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like. I greatly appreciate your time and support, and we'll catch up next time.